and the toilet moisture struck again there is a hot wheel down in the bottom that i'm fixing to have to fish out so jennings you know how in the movie the the um what are they called sailor alvin simon and theodore the three chipmunks the chipmunks how the dad what's his name Dave, he's always yelling, Alvin! That's how I feel about Jennings. I'm always like, Jennings! So I got the car out and it still wouldn't flush. And there is the bottom of a lime green toothbrush. Jennings! All right, checking on the, the chicks this morning. They're looking phenomenal. We had one pick up yesterday as Misty, I think Misty showed, but basically this leaves us with, uh, we had, this would be 70 still in here. So they are doing good, no, no casualties this morning, which is good. We have lost one, um, but it wasn't to us. It was just, it came in shipped that way. Misty said it was real weak yesterday, so they are about four days old now, and they are doing great. They do have tons of food, but we do need them to get them a tad bit more water real quick. Okay, so before we start moving all the animals for the day and doing our normal chores, we've got to get the smoker going. We've got to dump the ashes out of here, get that done, and then uh, we're going to start this thing up. And remember, we've been using this raw wood, just this hardwood. Uh, mix right here that we've cut up some of it's got some I mean just just typical oak most of the time um, But for when we're smoking we're going to use those chunks to kind of start it nothing with uh, we don't want to put anything that has bark on it in there and then again we have some uh, hickory smoke or excuse me hickory chips that we have got they're all natural uh, no chemical hickory hickory uh, wood to go on top and that'll help smoke that bacon we're going to smoke our bacon for uh, uh, for most of the day. So we'll have a look. Alright, so let's get some little twigs, buddy. Let's get them on the fire. We never do unnatural things. Like, you know, if you're starting a fire, you, you could use lighter fluid and things like that. When it comes to our smoker, we never do that. We never use anything unnatural. We always use natural everything's got to be natural so because it's going to our food and going into our area that it matters so what we do is when we're starting our fire like normal we we put our pine that's off our farm we don't buy pine it's literally old pine stump that's come from off our farm and then we take our twigs and light it ourselves, and then put our normal wood on there we don't want any kind of anything that's actually going in our wood going in our smoke because it ultimately this food will stay in here for a while so All right, we got everything watered in the greenhouse. You see, we want to soak them real good now. The ones that are big, and I mean, they'll stand back up after since after the water gets off of them, but we just missed them. So we wanted that soil to compact because we're going to probably transplant these tomorrow. We've got about 70 or 80 lettuce germination and about 40 broccoli and a few of the spinach, oh, about 15 of the spinach. So of all our new fields, this field is the most picturesque it is gorgeous this grass is so thick right here it i mean it's just so nice there's hardly any ground showing this one has done the best but it is because this is the lowest one and it tends to let all this drain towards it so what we're going to do is take the cows and go ahead and get them running down the lane here into fresh grass now again like we said anytime you're moving cattle especially on the fresh green lush rye grass it tends to hold moisture so what we've done is we've let the sun come up the dew get off of it and uh you gonna help me <laughs> Kidding, <he's yelling. laughs> so we've let the dew get off of it they've also ate a lot of hay this morning already and then we're gonna bring them over here if you would have brought them first thing this morning that moisture would have been right on the top which may have caused some issues like skyers which is diarrhea for a cow or it may have caused issues with bacteria or you got to worry about parasites because the grass Remember, parasites go to the top of the grass, and if it's got a lot of dew on it, 
just running those parasites up. So nothing's been on this ground for about two months. So we're gonna go and bring them in, let them eat this fresh grass, let this rest, do the same thing. Take that hay, spread it on the bad spots, and bring them here and have some fresh green grass. So let's get, Jennings doesn't like the moo cows. They're a little intimidating to me, like the sheep and pig a little bit better. So I gotta hold him. Quarantino and uh, Nelly didn't go in, so we're going to have to go back and get them. But that'll be fine. I'm gonna get since I don't have any help with AA. AA's doing chores. I mean, doing school. So we're gonna get these two in. Go and get Daddy O and Ollie in. Then we'll go back and get Nelly and Quarantino. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Ollie. Look at them on that fresh grass. Gosh, it's beautiful. Okay, so it is the first of the month, also. So what we'll do is actually treat them when we put their water in here. We'll put um, apple cider vinegar, some probios, and also some, some basic H in here. That way it again keeps them at a good, 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 clean, uh, clean system. Um, what we've seen, especially in this time when it's so nasty and wet, not a lot of sun. Today is a beautiful day, but this is the only sunny day we've really had in the last week and probably will have for the next week. So we want them having a good health boost, not only great quality grass, this ryegrass, which is high in protein, it can cause scars and it can cause them to get dehydrated if they eat too much of it. So we'll put a bell of hay in here. We'll also uh, give them fresh water, get all the goodness in the water, put some good probos all in their food, and uh, they'll be set. We'll keep them in here probably for another, uh, probably three or four days. And typically, I would not do that in the summer. We'd have this paddock and go day, day, day. But again, we're slowing our rotation down because we want them to put their their urination station and then uh, their poop all on here. That way it will help grow this grass even back better. Remember, this is just winter annual grass. Our perennial grass will plant in spring. Um, so we want to make sure that they're eating it down, but not to a point where it's taking the seed bed back because that's what we're going to use to help overseed our next. Uh, seed is it's because we're not tilling so we want this grass to be kind of a holder erosion control kind of situation as we plant that seed in the next coming week so pigs however did not need to be moved they still have tons of area they have not even scavengered in here but we did feed them we did straighten up the net on one side there were some branches on that other side now with the fencing we uh when I came over here, again, show you how awesome the American guinea hog are. Uh, my Yorkshire that we just butchered, anytime the fence is weak, they're constantly testing it. And if it's weak, they're getting out. This fence is actually completely red, meaning it's not, it's not, it's not getting any charge on it whatsoever. So, meaning it's, it's just the sun's, it's, it's uh, not got enough sun or it's too much stuff on the line but these American guinea hog are still in. So because they're used to being in hot fence, they didn't even test it. So that's a good thing. Technically, uh, that's, that's awesome because a pig usually would still test it, but these American guinea hogs are phenomenal. All right, let's get on the vehicle. I'm gonna go get them another charger. We'll be done with cows and pigs for right now. Last two things is sheep and turkey. Oh my gosh, look, I got a surprise to show you. Look, let's put this down. Come on, buddy, come on, come on. We were over here by the sheep. Come on, bud. Come on. Let's go look. We were over here by the sheep. And uh, we have a new addition to the farm. Look, right by their mama. Come here, look. Look at that little lamb. Look how pretty that lamb is. Look at that lamb. See this lamb right there? That's Minnie's baby. I, I, I'm guessing because Minnie's the one that's kind of over there. So it's not going to be Daisy. It's going to be Minnie. But look how gorgeous that little lamb is. See how pretty that lamb is? Hmm? See how pretty? Hmm? 
<laughs> All right, so, Trump, you're a daddy, man. You're a daddy. This is Trump's baby and Minnie's baby. I don't see another sign of her still in labor, so I don't think she's going to have another one. I think it's going to be just this one here. She is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to see if I can get close to her in just a second. Let's see. I want to make sure she's nursing. Seems like Minnie's being a good mommy. Come here. Come here, JJ. We're just going to let her be for a little bit. Make sure. She looks like she just had her. She looks like she's having no issues. She's she's completely fine. The baby's fine. So, uh, we're happy. All right, even though she just had her baby, and he is a, he is a beautiful little baby, I'm thinking it's a little ewe. Um, that's what it looks like versus a little ram. But beautiful. But we are going to go ahead and move them. We're going to let them get on this stockpile grass right here. That they have, Nothing's been on this grass at all. So we're going to move them right here and have a fresh move, get some fresh grass, make sure she's eating good because we want mama and baby doing good. And see, what's so crazy is our other ewe, Daisy, is going to be having a baby soon too. So we're going to go and flip this around, try to get them moved. And uh, Aiden's got the alfalfa, the other net. We'll get it up. Normally, we just open it up and let them come, but since we have a baby, we don't want to jeopardize that. So what we're going to do is do it like we used to. Put the net up halfway, get them into that first. That way we know the baby's good, mama's good, no stress, and get them over here. Okay, so we've got this main string down and this will help us kind of guide them in. There's their alfalfa that Jennings is playing in. All right, sheep remove. Look at this grass. You filling up the cow's water? Last move of the day is uh, getting the new turkey and duck net right here on the garden. All this old turnips and uh, broccoli uh, and stuff like that, they'll be able to eat. And, uh, plus, they'll be able to clean our garden spot up. This is the spot that we'll, we'll close up for, for some spring and summer. We won't be growing it, but we'll let them utilize what's left, all that broccoli over there. These meals are like my favorite meals. I don't know why. Is it because we can just gorge out on them and we think we're not gaining a lot of weight? So what's so. like what's supper tonight? We're just doing sandwiches. <laughs> we're doing sandwiches and uh, chips and some homemade dips. So which one is this? That is corn meal. Rider. No, that's Sayla on the that's Sayla. All right, so this is homemade corn, corn meal. Corn, and then I've got a French onion. Hey, uh, Sayla, why don't we calm down? This Always is crazy. Wild House. So we're making it with our homemade mayo, which we have a v video on it called Easy Peasy Mayo. Which it is really yummy. is easy. It is easy, huh? Very easy. This is made at our local agricultural school in the state. We cut this with our grinder. How cool is that? Yeah, I know. We're going to be starting to do some bacon, huh? All right, so what's the other dip? Where is it at? It's in here. All right, tell me about it. 
it's chilling. It's a French onion. I just sauteed the onion. It's a mixture of mayonnaise, um, sour cream, and cream cheese. We had a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar, and garlic. That sounds yummy. It's pretty easy.